Animals have been on Earth much longer than humans have, and some of them have survived doomsday scenarios in the past. Many of these we're about to mention have made genetic adaptations to coexist with humans and scavenge off our unused resources. Many animals that we've tried to exterminate have become resistant to our methods of getting rid of them and looks like they could outlast us in the future. From some that can survive in hot lava, the things that can withstand the most radiation, here are creatures that will survive the apocalypse. But first, quick shout out goes to Crystal Ayers for letting us know that she's been to one of the most isolated places that we mentioned recently. Let us know what creatures you think will survive the apocalypse and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 13. Cockroaches Recent studies on genetics of certain cockroaches tends to indicate a frightening conclusion. Cockroaches are now evolving to the point where standard pesticides that have been used for decades are no longer working. It's a classic case of evolution. Large cockroach nests get sprayed, some cockroaches are born with natural mutations which help protect them, then these cockroaches pass down their genes, and the result is a vile creature almost impossible to kill. Not only that, they can withstand 15 times more of the amount of radiation than a human. This terrifying creature can even survive without its head. That's right, a cockroach can survive up to a week without its brain since it breathes through small holes in its body. However, without a way to drink water, it'll die in 7 days from dehydration, which is still pretty long. A female cockroach can produce up to 50 babies during one pregnancy, which lasts only 3 weeks. Number 12. Volcanic Bacteria it's clear that supervolcanoes have the capacity to wipe out mankind and can even turn us into human statues like in Pompeii. We suppose if certain types of bacteria can survive living inside lava, it should be able to survive the apocalypse. Recent studies have also shown that volcanic rocks contain microorganisms known as thermophiles which excel at surviving at high temperatures. Their metabolic pathways help support them in nutrient deficient environments. Thermophiles can also exist in places where you wouldn't expect them to, like at the Grand Prismatic Spring in Yellowstone National Park. A single-celled microbe known as Strain 21 can survive at the temperature of 121 degrees Celsius, which makes you wonder if boiling water can kill all microbes. It also manages to metabolize iron oxide, which is plentiful on the Red Planet. Number 11. Hydrothermal Worms Getting a microscope might seem like a cool way to learn about scientific things, but after looking at this up-close image of a hydrothermal worm under an electron microscope, you might think twice about getting one. This is not Photoshop by any means, people. This image was taken by Philip Crassus and after zooming in 525 times closer. Most people won't get the chance to see the real thing, luckily, because they're actually pretty tiny. They're only found in hydrothermal vents in the ocean, deep below the sea. With those teeth, though, it really looks like some kind of mutant shark. You can bet your money safely that this thing will survive the apocalypse. Number 10. Giant Amazonian Centipedes This horrific looking thing can actually measure over 30 centimeters and is known to eat lizards and frogs. This species is found in places like the Caribbean as well as the Amazon and is a vicious carnivore. It even attacks tarantulas from time to time. It's also developed a way to snatch bats from caves by climbing onto the ceilings. Here in this photo, you can see how dangerous one of these are while it's feasting on a mouse. Number 9. Rats there is certainly a reason why rats are found all over the world. They're extremely tough and adapt to different conditions. Many have even evolved to resist rat poisoning. Rats can survive nearly 5 days without water and can survive falls higher than 50 feet. They can even resist exposure to radiation. Not only that, but they can squeeze through a hole the size of a quarter. Being able to live underground and need little to no sunlight is certainly a plus during the apocalypse. Don't forget about their ability to reproduce either. They can give birth to 20 baby rats at a time. Rats are beginning to increase in size and won't hesitate to cannibalize each other if it means survival. Mothers will even eat their own offspring if necessary. Number 8. Tardigrade They have 8 legs and they get the nickname of the water bear due to the way they walk around. These are classified as extremophiles and can survive in the most extreme conditions imaginable. During an experiment they conducted on tardigrades, it showed that they can actually survive the same conditions in space for 10 days. This is due to their ability to actually survive UV radiation. Not only that, but they've also been found in the Antarctic glaciers, the mountains of the Himalayas, and even in boiling hot springs. The craziest fact about this creature is that it's actually able to survive 100 years with no food or water. It's hard to put this on the top of the list, however, due to the fact that it's a microorganism and has an advantage because of that. There's really only one other microorganism more capable of surviving a doomsday scenario, which we'll get to later on in this video. Number 7. Antarctic Shrimp and Fish 
Many have believed that fish could not exist deep below glacial ice, but they are able to find new things floating around. Below nearly 2,500 feet of ice, scientists dared to explore the wildlife that exists beneath. A team of drillers got to work and lowered a custom-built robot just for this job. This took place on the Ross Ice Shelf, which is actually just a huge slab of ice about the size of Texas. This photo we see here was at a high resolution and shows you what life looks like deep below the ice. Also, this bizarre shrimp was uncovered, making you curious what else is out there. It also looks kind of tasty too. It also makes you wonder if some animals like these can survive on some of Jupiter's moons like Europa underneath the ice. Number 6. Crocodile Ice Fish when your blood is as cold as ice, you might have see-through blood like this crocodile ice fish. It's found primarily around Antarctica and around the southern tip of South America. There's a good chance that they'll even be able to survive if our oceans begin to heat up a little bit. They're believed to be an ambush predator and can survive long periods of time between eating. They can even consume up to 50% of their own body weight at one time. Imagine trying to do that. The fish have made fairly drastic adaptations to the cold water and their blood contains no hemoglobin. Number 5. Scorpions Although it's not 100% certain, it seems as though scorpions are not harmed by ultraviolet radiation. In fact, it only makes them glow. It's not just UV rays that they can survive, but also nuclear radiation as well. With a skeleton on the outside of the body, these things are built tough. We all know the possibilities of an apocalypse being ushered in by nuclear war. They are also known to survive a large range of different habitats and live on nearly every continent on Earth besides Antarctica. Some scorpions can actually be brought back to life after being completely frozen in ice. This will also allow them to survive what's known as a nuclear winter, which is when a large amount of soot and smoke in the atmosphere usher in freezing weather. Scorpions have lived on Earth for more than 400 million years and have survived the apocalypse before. We think they can do it again too. Number 4. A Tree Lobster Never heard of a tree lobster before? That's okay. They are believed to have been extinct for the past 80 years until one was discovered on this remote island between Australia and New Zealand. Due to the remoteness of their habitat and the toughness of their exoskeleton, it appears as though they'd be good candidates for surviving the apocalypse. It's a strange, jagged-shaped island which makes it impossible for humans to live on, so that could be why they're still alive. The giant rock island drops off at a near 90 degree angle, making it impossible for most creatures to survive. But somehow, the tree lobster found a way to do it. The tree lobster is in fact a flightless insect about the size of a human hand. The scientists you see in this photo decide to explore this area, since some scientists claim to have even seen evidence of droppings, which might prove their existence. Number 3. Shellfish Having any kind of shell on the exterior of your body will greatly increase your chances of surviving during the apocalypse. Shellfish like clams, mussels, oysters, shrimp, lobsters, etc. are all extremely resilient creatures. They've all definitely been around a lot longer than we have. Horseshoe crabs, for example, have been around for at least 450 million years and survived three major extinction events throughout their history. Radioactive shellfish have been found to thrive in areas where nuclear waste is leaked, such as Brunei Island. While this contaminates food supplies for humans, the shellfish seem to stay alive. In many cases, they can survive more than three times the amount of radiation than a German cockroach can. After the Fukushima disaster, many were wondering if the sushi would be safe to eat, and many groceries had to be checked for radiation. Should we be less concerned about global warming and more concerned with nuclear waste leaking into our ocean? Let us know in the comment section. Number 2. The Fruit Fly the removal of flies is already difficult enough, and even a nuclear apocalypse might not be enough to take them out completely. There's really only one other insect out there that can survive as much radiation as a cockroach can, and that's your typical fruit fly. In fact, in recent studies, it showed that female fruit flies might even be able to increase their lifespan by being exposed to doses of radiation. It takes about 64,000 rads to kill a fruit fly, which can actually make it much better than a cockroach. Since many flies are born in rotting flesh, the apocalypse should be the perfect environment for them to thrive in. The fruit fly's lethal dose is 64 times better than humans, making you wonder if there are some kind of fly-headed aliens out there, somewhere, who are being exposed to that kind of radiation. In addition to that, flies also have the ability to spread the zombie apocalypse someday in the future. They've already been known to spread things like typhoid fever, and the tsetse fly can spread the sleeping sickness in Africa, which seems rather zombie-like in a sense. And number 1. Thermococcus gametalarans the organism who is thought to actually be the most resistant to radiation and therefore could survive without a doubt during the apocalypse would be this extremophile. This underwater hydrothermal life form was about 200 meters deep off the coast of California. Not only that, it can resist 6,000 times the fatal amount of radiation a human can and it prefers to live in an environment where water is literally boiling. Unlike other organisms, this microorganism can rapidly repair chromosomal DNA within a blink of an eye. Anything that seems like it would be damaging to humans tends to help it out. 
for whatever reason, it prefers to live in places with high concentrations of sulfur, which would even make a volcanic doomsday scenario possible for it to thrive in.